Okay, so Poppy is she's back at Hogwarts, I think. Is she? Kind of. She's kind of back at Hogwarts. Not really, but it's all good. Ah, oh, man. I wonder how far we're going to get. I'm going to try and aim for the uh, same amount of time as I played last session. You're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house. Our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it. Screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's alright. Mm. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? Some weird stuff. The poachers refused to leave empty-handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Ooh. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Oh, I had a test on this and I failed. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. Sorry. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sure. It sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Oh, so I have I'll to wait? I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Do I just do something else? I have nothing else to do. Here. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. What? No. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. No. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, yep. I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, just trying ready to, to learn <laughs> flipendo? Chin up, flipendo. keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Flipendo. You will want to focus with this spell. Got it. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Sorry, what? I did not get that. Oh, this is purple. Oh, I now understand what this is. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the green. My pleasure. Mind the plants, please. Look at that. You're a natural. <laughs> and I'm level 22. You know what that means. It means I can now do this quest. Beat Sebastian by the Overlook. Right. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, okay. that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby. 
surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Uh, we, we avoid need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Hmm. After you. <laughs> oh, okay. After me. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Do about this guy? How? Okay. This is going well. Yeah. We make a good team. For now. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I choose. Hell to that. You know which one I would choose. is over fun is a relative term <laughs> it is and that was relatively fun <laughs> I hate this dude I should tell you rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders oh my god oh, nice nothing I haven't seen before that's the spirit it's my least favorite thing, dude. It's my least favorite thing in this game. And every time I'm with this dude, bro, Seb only takes me to places with spiders. And I hate it. Better off for us. We're in. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. It's a we certainly cleared the room. I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. Those <laughs> Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Now where do we go? Do we go here? Incendio. No. Incendio. Uh, we can have a look around in peace. Interesting. One, two. There's usually a third one. 
Revelio. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Yeah, I can't reach that one. I have to. I'm going to have to do some interesting stuff. Where is something I can stand on? Oh, here. Incendio. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple of Okay. This game just has to make things complicated for no reason. Okay. I don't even think I put it in the right spot. Hold on. Okay, I think that's good. Please recognize that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, and then I do this. Can I reach all of them? One, two, three. Wasn't expecting that. Really? You must not be paying attention. What do you have there? No A idea. journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel I think more I found of this mystery. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Well, I know what this means. Still, something about this place feels odd. Oh, check on Sebastian. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. Yeah. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft. Why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Okay. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to... Teleport to the Undercroft. I was like, if I do that, would, <laughs> would Seb come with me? I don't think Smash would come with me. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. <laughs> Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Okay. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Oh. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? That's ironic. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Right. Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> That's... Oh, oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? 
A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Okay. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. All right. Find the cave. Oh no, extreme danger. I don't like to see that. Incendio! Tobbs' master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Petrificus Totalus. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendio. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet Whoa. me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. It's a thing. I think I know how and where to Akio. Sorry guys, I'm a little fuzzy right now. I can't describe how much I hate this. Like doing this stuff specifically is nightmare fuel for me. Incendio. It's giving me anxiety. I don't know how you're meant to play this game if you have like a rectophobia, dude. Of course. Oh. 
Incendio. Feeling that house elf is tops. Oh, poor tops. Left here alone with the spiders. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about I can't believe the option Deke. is it's wise Thank to you. move on. You are very kind. God damn. You could use some time alone to think if kind of, it's all right. What kind of soldier do you think I am? Whoa. Damn. This is crazy. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready I to do so. what's needed That'd be great, to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to <laughs> learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Okay. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Okay. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. <laughs> Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts. And my husband is a curse breaker for oh. them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. <laughs> Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But, but... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. 
Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? <laughs> Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. How I dare scandalous. Say, I have hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Well, thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak I feel like with a you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. That's not really the I hope to ease just, Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence. evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But, uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of Fear violence against you. is a pretty you. controlling tool. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of Very poetry. Sure, I guess. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Damn. Harlow came calling. To punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Mm. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. <sighs> it's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Uh oh. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oh no. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. <sighs> That's the last thing I want is.
there's other people getting that hurt. must have been taken this way. I need to. All right, bro. It's time to square up. Square up. Let's do this. The footprints led to this room. She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Killer. Enough. He wants them alive. <sighs> Only a humble student would be arrogant enough to come in. Just keep an eye out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Stuff here. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. Nice. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Okay, what else? I want to find some of this evidence stuff. Book of Poems. The Book of Poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. Here we go. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Okay. Now, the way back is... Somewhere. Oh. Hello, sir. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. Yeah, your wife's she worried. My wife. How is she? It's worried sad. about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Oh. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. <laughs> you can sense where your wand is? That's just kind of cool. Rebellion. Incendium. Rebellion. Mr. 
rapes one well, could be in there. Alohomora. <sighs> Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. There you go. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Okay. Good for now. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Uh, I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. All right, be let's go. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Yep, I'm ready. All right, upstairs. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Sounds good. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai. She doesn't sound... Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're She sounds like a snitch. Not a snitch. She sounds like an op. Like Actually, Officer Singer, not a real Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you... I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. It got something Natsai, on her. you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. It's suspicious. I don't trust it. It's very suspicious. Very suspicious. Mm -hmm. 